Hello everyone and welcome back to Full Hilt, and uh, welcome to the title screen, we didn't see this last time, and something I didn't realize is that this game has an extremely anime-like theme that plays on its title screen. <laughs> like, I think it even has lyrics, like, I, I didn't expect this. <laughs> I, I kind of wonder if, like, these are from something or something, or this song is anyway. Well, regardless, let's just move on. Uh, we just got to the, uh, I had a bit of a failed recording, by the way, just couldn't really read today. Well, we'll do better this time, I promise. So, we got to a monster village, um, and there's a shop right over here I want to go to. Welcome to my clothes shop, what do you need? Knitting sheep. <laughs> Alright, uh, we can get a few things here. Um, we can get... I think I want to get that that for Amelia, as well as uh, this for Zack. What does the Magi Ring do? A simple piece of jewelry infused with magic powers it is capable of increasing one's magical strength slightly. Hmm. I'm gonna get this for her, because I actually use her magic. Most commonly worn by ladies to balls and parties. It increases magic and toughness. Ah, I don't need that. Okay, let's go ahead and equip real quick. Also, I'm just noticing this now, too. This game runs off of a, um... Yeah. This game runs off of a, um... Well... How do I put this? This game has inventory slots. Like, if you see there, the 15 out of 100, that means we have 100 inventory slots, and that's like the 15th item in it. Personally, I'm not really a fan of this mechanic. I I, I have never liked um, limited inventory. It just always seems like a really annoying mechanic to me. Even back in the day, like, I remember, like, really being frustrated with how Pokemon did it. Oh, I had to equip the Magi Ring as well. There we go. We lose some stats, but I think she gets more intelligence, and that's kind of what we need anyway. I'm assuming that just, that, like, tells the game how much, like, magic damage you're going to do. Uh, let's go ahead and sell our stuff, too. What's this again? Could bring luck to those who wear it. You can sell that for a lot. I'm gonna hold on to that for now. All right, let's move on for now. I think you're just the the in four talents for one night. Oh yeah, talents are the currency in this game. I I'm just picking up on that now. All right, let's look around. Welcome to Saturn Clearing, home of monsters. Hi there, my name is Shy Soul. Do you want to shop? Are you okay? I'm okay. <laughs> um. Okay. So what we got? We got heal potions an ultra nut um this strange knot has the power to fill you with mana from its nutty goodness lots of people say they love a good nut thanks game um it looks like these cure um these cure status ailments and the dev told me that this actually uh restores magic i think wait no 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 it, it brings you back from death okay um that's good to know okay thank you um we have a lot of money so we can like purchase just about anything we need to right now Hey there, you want to play tag with me? Sorry, kid, I'm busy. Maybe later. Come on, Zack, I want to play tag. Well, all right, but only for a little while. Thank you so much. I'm Gina, by the way. A little while later. Thanks, Amelia. See you around, Zack. Later. Play safe, kid. That was a lot of fun. We should do that again sometime. Oh, that's a heal point? Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> when I first talked to that guy, um, yeah, when I first talked to that guy, I thought it was going to initiate a minigame of some sort, but apparently not. It's just like a save point. Don't bother me right now. I'm preparing for the snow cherry harvest, and I need to practice my tree punching. Sounds important. Yep, very important. Snow cherries are the village's main export, so I need to make sure we get plenty of them when they're ripe. Name's Draven, by the way. Uh, that's the wrong there, and villagers should have an apostrophe between E and S. Just saying. Amelia. Looks like we got a weapon shop over here. Hey there, my name is... <laughs> God dang it, game. <laughs> okay, so, we got weapons here. Um... Ooh, we got some good stuff here. Okay, um... I'm gonna buy one of the... Okay, now, both of our characters dual wield... So, the little, like, uh, stat increases on the right might not be 100% accurate, because I think how RPG Maker works is that, um, it, uh, it, like, just says, um, 
like what the first equipment is, can, well, like what the what the new equipment stats are compared to the first equipment. Because the second uh, one, I think like dual wielding is something you need a plugin for. I think. It's been a while since I used it, honestly. Uh, we get a character who uses books at some point. A character who uses spears and a character who uses size. And a character who uses a gun? What? <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna, like, buy one item at a time in that case. Yeah, because we already had, um, a Dark Steel Claw. Are these elemented? These claws have been known to rip through clothes and light armor. These claws are capable of en en enhancing mag magical damage thanks to the light um, Lightrion. Okay, so something kind of cool about how RPG Maker deals with um, elemental damage is that I think it's, like, context-sensitive and just goes to whatever is most convenient for you. Like, for example, if I and I have Amelia attack a character who is weak to dark but resists light, the damage will only factor in the fact that the character is weak to dark. Like, it'll, it'll just do, like, the flat damage from this weapon. Like, it'll basically just go for what's most convenient for you, which I think is quite nice. And for that, I'm not gonna buy another one of these. I'm just gonna keep these as is. It's one less, it's one less attack, I think, but it's, um... Ah, whatever. I, I think it's worth it. Um, and as for you... This one has that light element, too. I wonder if this is light elemented. Or it has the name. Uh, Lighteron? Lighteron? I'm not sure how you're meant to say that. Let's go ahead and equip that real quick. Do I have multiple of those? Hmm. That increases attack by a lot. I'm gonna buy one of those, too. Huh? I can't equip it. Interesting. Hold on one second. Oh, you have to have a weapon equipped. I was gonna see if you needed to, like, dual-wield the, the weapon or something. Oh, it's an item! Oh, no, it's, it's, a, miscell it's a miscellaneous item. Interesting. That increases strength. What did I have before that? That. I five. You know, I'm gonna go with that. This is the second weapon we've seen that's described as a third blade used in tri-blade styles. I'm gonna assume you need that for, like, certain abilities or something. Okay, that's kind of cool. I kind of wish that was, like, lower down at the bottom. That would make it a bit easier to differentiate what it does. And let's buy a second one of these, just because we can. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I think we're ready to go. It's locked, but it, it's it also looks abandoned, so I doubt anyone is home right now. Oh, humans! Um, I wonder what this place is. Hey, Master Ziggs. Uh, a quick question: Could we borrow the the um? Oh, hi. Yeah, hi. So, it's been a hot minute since I last saw you, Red. How's life been for you? Been pretty alright, we guess. Graduated from Magic's, um, um, yeah, Magis Nova. Uh, got a job as Ambassador of Monsters. How about you? We heard about the whole King of Pirates thing. That was you, right? Yeah, would you believe me if I said that, um, uh, that... If I said that was attack, that was an accident. And not at all my fault. Um, yes and no. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Captain. Which? So you're um you must be uh Sil Harl. Name Zach the Shadow, nice to meet you. Zach offers Sil um Silharl a handshake, Sil Harl uh begrudgingly accepts. Saharl Avanos, <laughs> General of the uh Falian Royal Guards. I guess it's nice to meet you too. You're the kid who helped my brother in the slave camp, right? Of course I am. Someone had to look out for the kid. They're getting along well. Very. Nice to see you again, um, Amelia. You too, um, Armion. The gate is open, let's go. That guy looks cool. So what's our plan? <laughs> this Master Zane art looking tryhard. Don't know yet, but I've got a hunch, uh, a hunch that we need to be here right now, so just trust it, okay? Huh? What's up, Red? We thought, um, we thought we heard, never mind. Weird. Hold you. Fake walls, right? Too easy, come on, let's get us some treasure. Yeah, treasure. Ooh. Paths should just, um, should, uh, be just, uh, left. Wait, paths should just... 
Halves should be just left from here. Okay. There we go. Where are we now? Little warm in here. Might want to get through quickly before we burst into flames. Oh, do we have floor damage? Hold on. This is the exact same statue from the airship. How did it get down here? Is it? Okay. Yep, we do have floor. Oh my god, that does a lot of damage. Uh, okay. That we're going to have to watch out for. You start with so little health in this game that, like, <laughs> that kind of damage actually is a big threat. Okay, so the black spots don't damage you. Drop Aqua Twin Blade. What is that? Um, that's a blade, so let's see if Zack can equip it. A blue steel blade forged in the ocean depths. It drips a cool, bubbly substance that can douse even the brightest flames. Ah, yes, exactly what I expect to find in a, uh, in a volcano area. Speaking of which... Yep, we have Hellhounds. Okay. Flame Doggo! <laughs> Thanks, game. <laughs> okay, they're not too bad. Wow, that, that dude, that can like two shot that enemy. What? Well, okay, that does a tad too much damage. I'm not gonna lie. Also, we are one magic away from leveling up, or one experience away from leveling up. <laughs> I appreciate that the heal point is really easy to get to. What's this? Happy Splode. <laughs> what the heck are these names? <laughs> yeah, that just destroys everything. What is a Lolo flower? Hold on, I, I got a couple new items in this area, actually. A smokable flower that increases physical fortitude at a cost of mental fortitude, resulting in increased defense but weakened magic. Okay, I'm assuming that's like a battle item. Oh, wait, no, I can use it here? I'm not gonna use that here. Also, we got this too. Milky texture, sour flavor. Okay, I, I had a feeling that would like restore your magic. A clacqua. Um, that's something for you? Yes. Claws formed in the ocean currents. These uh, deep blue claws can drill a hole in any opponent. That still doesn't do much damage, but you're not like, oh, you're not a physical fighter though. Ooh! Oh, that does a lot. Um, hold on. Yeah, I should kill you. Um, I guess maybe I should just have you defend. Yeah, I'll just have you defend from now on. What the heck? Uh... Okay, the game just crashed. Uh, <gasps> I haven't had that happen in a while. Okay, don't defend. Uh, that's, that's good to keep in mind. Uh, let's close the game and open it back up again. <laughs> Hold on, um, you might see a bit of my desktop for a second. Okay, um... Gotta line this up. There we go. Okay, let's try that again. That was weird. Well, thank God I saved. <laughs> Alright, let's just go through that again real quick. As long as I can get to this chest, the enemies don't really do much damage, honestly. set up just in, so you get just enough experience. Also, I want to test something. You do not die from slip damage uh, from floor tiles. That's actually really good to keep in mind. I'm going to save here. I'm going to save more often, by the way.
I'm assuming that crashes as a result of, like, incompatibility of a plugin. The arrow said something about gradients. I'm not 100% certain what that's supposed to mean, but... Maybe it, like, didn't load an effect or something. You know, when I downloaded this game, it was actually a gigabyte big, which kind of surprised me. I don't know, I don't think I've ever seen an RPG Maker game that large before. Or maybe I have, I don't know, again, it's been a while. Okay. There we go. Got our stuff back. Um, yeah, I gotta say, it's been a while since I played an RPG where four damage is considered a lot. <laughs> It feels oddly refreshing. I don't know. Like, I, 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 I've been playing a lot of RPGs recently where, like, the normal attack does, like, 400 damage, and it's kind of cool, just, like, it feels like I'm going back to a simpler time. A simpler time where, like, oh, your, your character has, like, 30 health and you have to manage it well. Like, God, I, in Final Fantasy X, like, I swear to God, your character starts with, like, a thousand health. Like, <laughs> Starting with numbers this low can make it kind of difficult to balance, but, like, it, it works sometimes. Also, I'm gonna see if I can... I wonder if you're weak to this? Ah, uh, it doesn't really look it. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, actually, this is a good chance to test something out as well. Do dead party members get experience in this game? Yes, they do. Okay, that's not too bad. Dead party members also revive at the end of battle. That's also really good. Really convenient. I don't think when games do that. <clears throat> huh? Hey, Amelia, remember when we talked about good noises and bad noises? Yep. <laughs> what was that sprite? Rumbling Caves was on the bad list, right? Yep. So, our ceiling shadow is also a bad thing. Yep. Brace for impact. Yep. I like this game's sense of humor. Oh, we got a boss! Okay. Kitsune. Um, okay. So just don't defend is what I'm getting. Let's use my pirate eye real quick. I saw someone in the comments of my last video actually wonder how you get a pirate eye ability. I think it's like a Libra-esque ability. I think it's a yawn fly thing. I think... Oh man, I, I can't find... Uh, yeah. Yeah, but it is a thing uh, that, that a lot of games do have. And it's a really cool plugin as well. So I can just do a normal attack. Is this still the- yeah, that still does like 70 damage. <laughs> you know, I gotta say, I love how like, every character has like a time to shine in battle. Like for example, in the last battle, it was- the last boss fight seemed specifically designed for Amelia to shine, and in this one, it's Zack. Like, I really like it when a boss gives like, a certain character a reason to like, really stand out. I don't know, not enough games do that nowadays. Nowadays it's just like, oh, d just do as much damage as possible with every character. And this often just makes characters kind of blend in, but this game has done a really good job of, like, making them different. Yet still making them very useful. Oh, I'm full on... I don't want to risk, um... I'll wait for the boss to do, like, a single hit on Zack, because he has actually a lot of defense. Yeah, I can't be risking that. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I could solo this boss of Zack if I needed to. <laughs> I shouldn't be using all these potions. You know what? Who dares wins? We established that you do get experience even if you do die, so... Not really much of a reason to not do this. There we go. That's gonna kill Amelia, but... That's fine. Yeah, that's perfectly fine if you just do that. Oh, that was a pretty fun boss, too. <laughs> I feel like, I think the 
there should have been a bit more of a gimmick to it, but I, I really like that fight. Almost a level up, okay. Oh! We won! That big bastard is running home with its tail between its legs. Good riddance. Okay, little opportunity for a joke here. You should have said, with all of its tails between its legs. <laughs> is no one going to ask how a Kitsune got on the ceiling? Well, I mean, I could, but who would answer? Yeah, okay. Well then, shall we press onwards, my trusty first mate? Right away, Captain. Oh, the dev also told me that, like, you get a full heal after, like, plot bosses or plot fights. Which is kind of cool. <laughs> Guard armor. That is my least favorite Kingdom Hearts boss. Um, wait, what is it? Oh, it, it's an armor. Went to the wrong slot. And only Zack can equip it. Four less... What? Wow, this game really wants Zack to die to every magic ability possible. <laughs> you know, hold on a second. I think I'm going to put that back on, at least for now. I've seen enemies use... um use magic abilities in this dungeon. So I think it's just better to have something like that. Also, I... Again, I like this a lot. This is a benefit to having, like, really really low stats overall across the board. I can really see Amelia doing more damage with her normal attack over time. Yeah, because that would do, like, three or four now. But now, since, like, the numbers are a lot lower, I can actually see that difference. And it's not just, like, oh, you're dealing 20 more damage when you're doing, like, 200 damage with an attack with normal attack anyway. Oh, we got a preempt. Um, oh, I hit the wrong enemy. Um, it's fine. We got a preempt, so we get two turns before. Um, oh, dang, one health left. Why does it didn't do more? Yeah, whatever. We are a higher level now, so. Oh, now we're even a higher level. Try blade attack in lesser self affliction. Oh, oh, she learned to heal. Okay. We got a new item, too. Let's check out what these are real quick. Um, okay, so that increases health, but lowers speed. Oh, that's a full heal. Interesting. Um, got a couple of new skills, too. Very powerful, but also extremely inaccurate. I don't really like stuff like that. Damage yourself to gain mana. This draws a, uh, drains a, lot of po a large portion of your health, but your mana gauge will begin to fill. Interesting. I mean, it's more options. I probably can't see myself using an ability like that, but... Yeah, and she does learn a heal. Okay, again, really convenient stuff. I love that she learns a heal so early. And she learns Salagmite Spike as well. A third tier spell, available to min uh, to mid-level Magi uh, with Earth Elementals. Uh, summon Spike of Rock from below to pierce your opponent's defenses. Interesting. It just seems like a... I thought I almost read that misread that as gummy bear, but gummy beer seems even weirder. What is that? Um, a solid, squishy, bouncy gummy liquid. It's more likely that you'll take bits of this bittersweet, uh, take bites of this bittersweet drink. And it's a full heal. Okay, so it's basically an elixir. Oh, more dogs. Uh oh. Okay, that I remember that attack doing a lot. Let's kill that guy so it doesn't get a turn. Ah, dang it. There we go. You know, we have a we have a heal spell now, so let's just use that instead. We haven't really encountered anything that's like weak to earth, so. Uh Magis Nova uniform. Okay. A uniform given to students of Magis Nova. It is marked with one of the school's five house emblems. Oh great, it's basically Hogwarts. <laughs> Plus two toughness, plus two will. This looks like we might be coming up on a boss. Okay, I'm gonna save here real quick. I think we're gonna leave it off here. I'll see you folks next time. Thanks for watching.